Welcome to Digital Toolbox. This is going to be a basic whirlwind intro into lists. Uh, this setup I've taken from uh, Lift Architects Primer, Andrew Payne's Grasshopper Primer. Excellent checkout. Highly recommend it. Uh, I've just lied, um, laid out the all of the list buttons here, and uh, we're just going to go over all of them pretty quickly. The data that, that we're going to use is based on the series. The basic series is under logic sets, and I've just kept the, the defaults. The first number is going to be 0. The increment is going to be 1 for n, and then c, the number of values, is going to be 10. When that series outputs into a basic slider, into a basic notepad, you can see uh, that it, the uh, right here on the left column, that's the entry number. That it starts at zero, just like all the data in Grasshopper, and the series uh, comes out here, 0, 0.0, 1.0, uh, all the way through 9.0 are 10 values. That's what a, an unaltered uh, basic list of data looks like, and this is the b list that you'd use to uh, uh, make these manipulations on from all of these list buttons. The first one we're going to go over is list item. This is going to select a, a certain item in the list based on a slider that you dictate into I, the item index. I'll just show this in an XYZ point. Uh, the first one, if we hooked it up there, uh, 0 through 9 points on the x-axis are just going to look like this. I can call out a specific one by using the list item, and you can see that it's only showing that one value. The next one is list length. This takes your list and just calculates how many uh, items you have in that list. So I had a max number of 10 in, from the series. It's telling me that I have 10, and then it's putting the x on the 10 for the for the point on the x axis. The next one is similar, is just a reverse list. This takes the exact list that you have up here and just reverses it. So this nine starts uh, at zero, and then the last one will be in the ninth place. Well, the return will be zero. So you can see as I scroll down here, it's just reversed simple as that and returning all of them it's just putting in there reversed the next one is the shift this shifts your list uh, up a up or down a numeral dep depending on what how uh, how far you want to offset it so here you can see if I'm adding shifting up two, it's gonna start at 2 instead of 0 and then it will go until 9 which is my uh, ultimate figure from the series so you can see as I shift it up further, uh, the starting point gets up higher, but the list doesn't, uh, the entire list uh, isn't shifted up higher. If we wanted to do that, we'd go back to the series and write a function for that. The next one is the split. This takes your list and splits it down the middle at an integer where you see fit. So if I go to this first part, I'm going to split it at three. The first three values are being returned and then the next are being put in the, the B output on a different list. And then I could toggle this, and then it would switch those lists uh, at the same time. The next one is subset. is very similar. Uh, it just takes what here looks like the first part of the split. There's also different Boolean options uh, under C. And then you can dictate how you want to split uh, your subset. There you can see as I add more, that just copies the same integers uh, from, from the original series. And the last one is kind of interesting. Dispatch uh, changes, only takes out the, the items that you want based on a, a Boolean pattern. So here I've taken the Boolean pattern and uh, edited it with right click, manage Boolean collection, and I've said true, true, false. And that will be the pattern here. Uh, A returns true, B returns false. So here is 0, 1, 3, 4, 6, 7, and 9, 10 if we had one. And uh, those are the true integers. I'll put this into B to get the false ones. Remember I just had true, true, false. So every third one is going to be returned out of B. That's 2, 5, and 8. If I set this back to the original, which was just true, false, 
it will return just the odds on B and then the evens on A. And there you can see that in the points. So that was a quick intro into lists based on a series and the uh, being comfortable with these lists and how to manipulate them will really uh, help you manipulate data in your grasshopper definitions.